is it just me or are words like thank you and please just kind of overrated i feel like we use it so often today in society that they've kind of like lost their significance um I remember this one time when when I was like on my cycling trip, like one of the guys that was with us would be like, bro, you you never say please and thank you. Uh, And, you know, I would ask him for small things like, hey, like things like, yo, can you pass me uh, a water bottle? Right. Um, And for him, I think this is great because like for him, every time he does something like he'll always say please to it. But my theory is that when you start using a word too often, it starts losing its value. Like, for example, you know, in today's age, I think that like, um words have start words have started to lose their meaning because well okay for example people saying that i'm depressed right oh, i'm depressed i'm depressed what it does is it undermines people who are actually you know like have depression and i think that when it comes to words like please and thank you i do think that they're important but um i don't think that you should overuse them because then they just start losing their value and then in the future we're gonna have to start using different words um so the reason why I think uh, the reason why this comes up is because yesterday I was having a conversation with my dad and like, uh, you know, like my sisters are very, very polite Gen Z's. So they're always like, please, thank you all the time. But my dad, on the other hand, like at any time, like my let's say my dad, he transfers my my uh, sister some money. She'll be like, thank you. And my, my dad's like, thank you for what? Right? Like for him, it's like he's like he doesn't he's like he I think he even said like he doesn't like it when uh when uh they say thank you because it's not needed he's like my my mom uh even like you know like saying i love you all the time like at the end of every call saying love you it's like these these words start to lose meaning in my opinion when you start overusing this stuff um i guess even like words like bro you know like we say bro all the time uh like us guys we just say bro all the time and it's just like it starts losing meaning it's just it's just a word now it's not like you know some actually being like yo like you're my brother um and I think that this is just where we're at as a society where like we just use words and we don't really give as much meaning to them to the point where like these words that once used to have like a really deep meaning now they don't mean anything. Even words like, you know, like I love you. Um, so like saying like love you all the time. People say it, people throw it around like they'll say it to state strangers and stuff like that. It's like that love is there in a sense, like lo- love for another human being. But like, I don't love you like I love my mom. I'm gonna keep it a buck, you know, like if you're some random stranger. Yeah, I love you for being a human being, but not like I love like my mom or my dad or, you know, like uh, my my close friends. Um, so I, my dad was saying that like he has never uh, like he has never said like I love you to his mom or his mom has never said I love you to him. But he he is like the love that they have each other for each other is so, so strong that these words are not necessary. And my dad was saying that, you know, love and uh, politeness and the kindness has truly shown by your actions. So for example, you know, like there's just like acts of service essentially. So, uh, you know, like my dad, um, my dad has never said, I love you to me. Uh, but you know, when he cuts up like fruit and brings it all the way upstairs to my room, that to me is true love. I'll take that over. Like, I love you any single day. And maybe everyone is just different because I know there's love languages and some people, you know, find uh, place a important uh, place and importance to words of affirmation. Um, so I'm trying to understand if this is just like maybe guys, because even amongst my like guy friends, you know, the way that we make jokes to the way that we show our affection towards each other, like it's like here and there, you know, um, like for, for me to like for, for, for me or one of my friends, like, you know, put a lot of effort into making a video and me being like, yo, I'm proud of you. Or my friend doing that, like for example, my friend sharing, uh, like a post I made online, being like, "Yo, this is sick." That means so much to me. You know, showing appreciation towards my work means so much to me. But for him to just be like, every time he needs something, like, "Yo, can you please e transfer me?" No, it's like, "Yo, e transfer me." <laughs> I just, I don't even think about it. Um, so for us, like, it's like you know that like love is there, and I think that because we overuse, I think like this over this need to overuse uh, these like polite terms has kind of made us sensitive, like oversensitive. And it's made us a little bit needy as well, where it's come to the point where like, if you don't use these words, um, if you don't use these words, like uh, people like, you know, take offense, like, oh, why don't you say, why don't you say please? Why don't you say uh, thank you? Um, It's, I think it's good to have, like, I, I think these words don't necessarily, like, they're not, 
there's they're ultimately a net positive to an extent i think on a micro level they're a net positive because you know you saying please and thank you to an individual like it's going to make them feel good but i think on in the grand scheme of things what this is going to do is it's going to um you know just lose its significance the you know saying i love you is going to lose its significance please has already lost its significance so has thank you um these things have just lost their significance so there's two ways of looking at this one it could be like yeah like you just stop saying these word things but the second is like you just get more you know creative with these things i think with please i don't know what other alternatives there are to that but you know like thank you i don't know like for me i i i i try to not just say thank you but like you know sh- kind of like show my appreciation towards someone for something um so instead of uh like uh I don't, I'm not the best at this. I'm, I would like to get better at it. But yeah, I just think that for me personally, acts of service, uh, you know, just how people behave around me is so much more important than someone saying please and thank you. Like if someone doesn't say these words, I'm not going to think that they're impolite. But with that said, I think it's it's also important to say this. And this is a cultural difference as well. I think in, in Pakistan, like this is not really a thing where like, I remember uh, when I was in Pakistan, like there's uh, there's a guy who works at our house, like he cooks for us. And whenever he would like bring food to the table, like no one would really say anything. But when he would say something to me, I'd be like, Shukriya. like I'd like under my uh, under my breath say thank you because I felt like a little bit weird because it's like he's doing his job. You know, it's like he doesn't need uh, like a thanks necessarily. But my mom says she like she always says thank you. And then uh, even one time, like one of the guys is like, you know, like auntie like this and he didn't understand english so she's like she uh, he asked like my grandma what, what does she keep like saying every time i do something for her what is this and then she explained that like you know she likes to you know pay her gratitude towards uh people who do something for her so yeah it's interesting um i don't even know where this video is going it's more of like just like a thought that i had uh about just the cultural differences when it comes to things like this like saying uh, like politeness essentially um for us it's like we we don't in, in like Pakistani culture we don't think much of of this stuff like please thank you it's just more so it's like it's like the 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 acts of services that you provide and like you know you showing up for someone those things far outweigh you not saying please and thank you uh so yeah i i, I don't know this is like so like unscripted i don't even know uh, what the outcome of this thought is but Hmm. Let me think. What is the outcome of this thought? Maybe it doesn't have. Maybe there doesn't have to be an outcome to this thought. I had nothing else to talk about today. Um, so yeah, you know what? I don't really know where this is going now. So I'm just gonna end it there. Just a thought about the differences between our culture and how we place too much significance on words like please and thank you versus not really placing significance into the actions of people. I think the actions of people far far outweigh the politeness of people. And this is the big difference about Canadians, right? People always say Canadians are very polite. Sorry, people say that Canadians are very friendly and kind. I would actually take I would I would say I would argue that and I'd say that no, I don't think Canadians are necessarily kind and friendly. I would say that Canadians are polite. But when if you want true kindness, then you go to like these Middle Eastern countries, you go to South Asia, and that is where you experience true kindness, where, um, you know, like, uh, they're not just gonna, I think like they would say, like, please and thank you, but they go above and beyond from that. Whereas over here, the bottom line is just like, you say please and thank you. And if you don't say that, people are gonna get angry at you. So yeah, there, that's my, that's, that's how I'm gonna wrap it up. All right, cool. Dab, I don't know why I did that. I'm so cringe. All right, bye.